Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how I connected my DX11 uh, to my computer uh, using my Roland 800 Pro as a MIDI interface. Uh, now I'm able to uh, use the DX11 as a MIDI controller properly, so I can play any VST on my Mac. And at the same time, I can upload from the Mac to uh, the DX11 all new patches or uh, voice banks. Uh, so what I did, as you can see in this picture, uh, I have connected MIDI in port to the MIDI out port of the Roland and the MIDI out port of the DX11 to the MIDI in port of the Roland A800 Pro. And uh, then of course the Roland A800 Pro is connected through the USB directly into the uh, Mac. And I also set up the MIDI channel uh, of the Roland uh, to channel one. So on the DX11, I have uh, actually left the MIDI on, receiving channel one, transmit channel one, and the rest of the, it doesn't matter the rest. Right, so let's see now if we can transfer uh, uh, some uh, patch bank uh, to the DX11 with the Sysic Librarian. So first of all, we go into the memory protect and we put memory protect off, it's off, yes, that's good. Now we have this bus synth, we have this uh, patch bank on the uh, internal memory. And now we're gonna upload a new one. Let's say, I don't know, we can do, oh yeah, Hedges patch bank. Hedge 777. Hi Hedge, how are you? Ah, oh, that's it. And this is the patch bank loaded. Okay, so now I will use the DX11 as a MIDI controller and play uh, OBXD patch uh, through Reaper. So first of all, uh, we need to take away the volume from DX11 so we don't hear the patch that is actually loaded on the bank, and um, that's it. And this is the this is what we get. So that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share if you like the video, of course. Uh, also let me know in your comments if uh, there's anything you want me to explore about the DX11. Uh, maybe I can make a video about it. Uh, the next video probably will be a double one. So the part one will be how to set up a three instruments performance uh, in the DX11, step by step. And part two will be using Blue Arp uh, MIDI arpeggiator VST to trigger these three different sounds on the DX11 and turn them into a song. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.